Hey guys, Craig LePage from LePage Johnson Realty Group and Charlotte Living and Lifestyle. In today's video, uh, we're bringing out the map. We're gonna talk about different areas in and around Charlotte that people choose to live when they move to the Charlotte market. A lot of people know they want to move to Charlotte. They just don't know where in the Charlotte area they want to move. So that's what today's video is going to be about. And we're going to discuss the most popular areas, towns, locations, as well as the different roadways and highway systems in and around Charlotte. So you kind of know the convenience of getting from one place to another. I'm going to start right here in the middle. Right here in the very center is Uptown Charlotte. And there is a small highway that goes right around the city the inner loop and that is uh, highway 277 uh, so if you need to get anywhere within the city you can hop on that little loop and go from one side of the city to the other and outside of that there's another band and this is the billy graham parkway and that kind of goes around the city as well but uh, quite a bit far further out and that just kind of loops around the bottom and then you've got the major highway of highway 85 interstate 85 goes all the way from uh, Kings Mountain through Belmont right along the top of the city up towards Kannapolis, China Grove, and then to Salisbury. Um, and then you have another major highway from the north to south or south to north that kind of goes upwards um, from Statesville down past the east side of Lake Norman through Cornelius and Huntersville down into the city crosses the city on the west side and then goes down into South Carolina through Fort Mill and Rock Hill uh, where we also uh, service. So uh, getting back to the city area, we have 485, which is at the outer beltway. Uh, it makes it very convenient to get anywhere around the city, outside of the city, all the major towns. So you can hop on this and not have to go down 77 or 85 and go into the inner city limits. So 485, the outer beltway is very, very popular as well. Uh, so those are the major ones. There's a couple other ones. You've got Highway 16 that comes from I-40 through Newton down into Denver on the west side of Lake Norman. That's a uh, well-used highway that leads right into the center of Charlotte comes out the bottom of Charlotte and goes down towards South Carolina as well. So that's another major road. And I'm gonna add one more in here and that's Independence Boulevard. And that leads down through Matthews, down into Monroe, uh, down into South Carolina as well. So you can see there's lots of major roads from all the different suburbs that lead right into the center of Charlotte. You've got that 277 loop that goes around Charlotte. Uh, a mid-sized loop of the Billy Graham Parkway kind of turns into a different name of a road here. Um, but then you've got the 485 Outer Beltway, which kind of connects all of the outer suburbs, uh, makes it very convenient to get around the Charlotte area. So those are the major highways uh, and roads that are in and around Charlotte. But now I'm going to talk a little bit about the different major areas that people tend to choose to live in uh, when they're moving to the Charlotte area. So outside of the uh, inner limits, they call it Uptown, Uptown Charlotte, you've got so many beautiful neighborhoods. So you've got Myers Park. to the north. You've got Midwood to the northeast. Eastover is another really popular one. So 
there's a lot of great neighborhoods and great areas outside of the city. So you're within 10 to 15 minutes right into Uptown from any of those neighborhoods. We've got videos for all of those. So if you're interested in that area, we've got a great video that explains all of that. As you go further south, you're into the Pineville area and then uh, the area of Ballantyne. And Ballantyne is in Charlotte, but it's almost like a city in its own. It's right on the 485 Beltway, kind of dips down below the Beltway as well. And um, that's a very popular area that has plenty of beautiful neighborhoods and uh, country clubs, lots of new development, retail and uh, restaurants there as well. And that area kind of caters, of course, to itself, but also the area south of that, which is Union County down here. And that is like Weddington and Waxhaw. There's some other great areas right in here in that Union County area. And that's a little bit more of a rural area that offers a lot of, you know, flat open land. Uh, there's uh, plenty of restaurants and shopping and things to do there as well. But you got more of the, the sprawling neighborhoods, you know, master plan neighborhoods. You're going to find a lot of that in the, the South Charlotte area. We'll, we'll call that South Charlotte in the Union County area. You know, as you move to the east, you're going to get more of uh, the Matthews and Indian Trail area. That area is a pretty well developed area that's been around for quite a while. got that uh, Mint Hill area and Midland, which is out here. That area is a very up and coming area and is being developed quite rapidly at this point. As you can see, there's not a lot of roadways, major roadways out there, but it is growing fast. So if you're looking for something that's up and coming and brand new, that might be a place that you want to look. As you move north into Harrisburg, that's uh, growing very fast as well. There's a new hospital out that way and a lot of retail and restaurants. So on that east side, you can get there pretty quick. Any one of these areas I'm talking about, you're anywhere from 30 to 45 minutes into Uptown, depending on the time of day, of course, and what day and what time. But as you move up north here, you've got Concord, Kannapolis. Concord is extremely popular. That's where the Charlotte Motor Speedway is. PNC Music Pavilion is up that way. A lot of concerts, a Great Wolf Lodge, a lot of shopping, planned neighborhoods. So Concord is a very popular area as well. And Kannapolis is kind of growing rapidly because of the size of Concord and Concord development has kind of grown into Kannapolis and, and it's pushing out that way as well. So anywhere in this area, if there's some great opportunities, great options for you. We serve as high as Salisbury and China Grove, but of course you're getting a little bit further north and further away from the city if that is important to you. As you move to the west and kind of north, northwest of the city of uh, Charlotte, you're going to get into the Lake Norman area, and that's an extremely popular area. As you can see, that's a very large lake. It's the largest man-made lake in North Carolina. It's about 32 miles long. It's a mile wide at its widest point. It's about 530 miles of shoreline, so it's a pretty good-sized lake. Huntersville, right here, right above Charlotte, is a very, very large town. It's a lot of great restaurants and shopping and uh, planned communities and living opportunities. So that's a, a very popular popular place because it's right on the I-77 corridor that leads right into Charlotte. You've got Highway 73, which kind of goes across the bottom of it and leads all the way out to Concord as well. So that's another reason why Huntersville is so popular. We've got that north to south 77 and then the 73 highway kind of connects Huntersville to Concord. So there's a lot of growth and activity there. As you move up 77 on the east side, you've got Cornelius, which is a pretty small town, but it has a lot of beautiful shoreline along Lake Norman. So it's a great place to live, but because of its size, there's limited opportunity there. So, but it's definitely a place to check out. Just going above that, uh, not necessarily on the Lake Norman shoreline is Davidson. There, They have a little bit of Lake Norman shoreline, but it's a pretty good sized town. It's got a really charming downtown, kind of a small town feel. 
and a lot of people love that that town as well. It's called the town of Davidson, not labeled there. As you go further north, you're going into Mooresville, which is a very large town and has plenty of Lake Norman shoreline. It's probably the most popular town in the Lake Norman area and offers a lot of different uh, living opportunities for you, whether it's townhomes or condos, waterfront homes, uh, luxury homes, new construction, you name it. It has everything you can imagine. So Mooresville is very, very popular. And then you have, as you move north, you go into Troutman. Troutman is growing at a pretty rapid pace because of the growth that Mooresville has uh, and has had in the, in the years past. So Mooresville is getting a little bit more expensive because it's becoming a popular place to live. So a lot of those people are kind of venturing a little bit north into Troutman and they can get a little bit more for their money, but still have a short ride into Mooresville for their necessities. Uh, so that's that's a great opportunity as well in Troutman. And we have videos for all of these towns individually if these sound interesting to you. A little bit further north of that is Statesville, which is a pretty large town. It's almost a city, it's kind of a mini city, <laughs> but that's a very large town and there's some opportunity as well. But as you can see, you're getting much, much further north of Uptown. So if you want to commute, that's a little bit further of a ride for you. Uh, even Troutman, depending on where you live in Troutman, you're looking at about 45 minutes into Uptown, depending on the time of day or what day it is. So that's kind of the east side of Lake Norman. You've got Highway 150, which is a major road here. I'm gonna draw a line, it kind of goes across the lake. And uh, as you can see between 77, 150, 16, and 73, it kind of draws a box around the lake. That's, you know, kind of makes it a little bit easier to get around the lake. So as you cross 150, over here, you're gonna get into the Sherrill's Ford area. And Sherrill's Ford is another fast growing area with a lot of development, a lot of new neighborhoods and homes being built out there. People see it as a great option because you can go right across 150 and be in Mooresville with all the shopping and restaurants, or you can just shoot right over and hop on 16, you're right in Denver, or you can go take 16 right down into Charlotte as well. So it's a pretty convenient area, that Cheryl's Ford area. Like I said, as you come across the lake on 150 and then shoot down 16, this is the Denver area. And Denver, as you can see, has a tremendous amount of Lake Norman shoreline on the west side of the lake. That is, uh, it's not, it doesn't have that I-77 convenience and all these popular towns, but there's quite a bit of development over here. You know, there's a Walmart, there's plenty of different restaurants and growth within its own. So Denver is a really popular lake area as well. see like all the uh, 150 leads out to Lincolnton which is another very fast growing area kind of goes right into Lincolnton as well. You've got Iron Station, which is right around here. There's some great overflow from Denver growing into Iron Station. There's some beautiful communities that are, are being built right out 73 here. So that's pretty much the Lake Norman area. You could see all these different towns and very popular places to live. As you move kind of south on the west side of Charlotte, here you get into Belmont and Gastonia. Kings Mountain. So Belmont is a nice, charming town that has uh, gone through, you know, a new look and kind of a, a rebuild in the last, you know, 10 years. And it's it's a beautiful, charming little downtown now. Um, there's a lot of beautiful neighborhoods, you know, homes being built out this way. As you can see, this body of water that comes down through uh, the Catawba River and Mount Island Lake, which is here, and then turns, you've got the South Fork River over here and the Catawba River meet and they turn into Lake Wiley. So there's some, some nice waterfront out here in Belmont too. 
it's uh, more of a kind of a river feel or a skinny part of the lake, but there's some beautiful neighborhoods and opportunities out that way. So that's your Gastonia and Belmont area. Gastonia, as I mentioned, uh, is a little bit further west. Uh, you get a little bit more for your money, obviously, as you get further away from the city. Going down here a little bit further south, you've got Lake Wiley. So as you can see here, I'll draw a little bit line of a line here. This is the North Carolina, South Carolina state line, which is right here. We do serve South Carolina too. So if you're interested in this area, we have agents that serve both North and South Carolina. They're licensed in both states, so we can help you there. But this is a really nice area. You've got the Steel Creek area of Charlotte that there's the uh, outlets that are over here. There's a top golf down there, um, plenty of growth, plenty of shopping. Uh, restaurants and so forth and of course you have Lake Wiley which is beautiful on both sides of the lake you know whether it's the North Carolina side South Carolina side you've got the Palisades which is a beautiful uh, neighborhood right on the North Carolina side is on the South Carolina side. You've got the Clover area. There's some great development in here. And then of course you got Fort Mill. And Fort Mill is a very popular place in recent years that people are choosing to live because you could just shoot right into Charlotte from here and live in South Carolina if you choose to do so. Um, so there's plenty of options down in this area as well. Like I said, contact us if you have any questions about any of these areas. They're all great options and it really depends on what you're looking for with your move to the Charlotte area. You know, are you going to be con commuting into uptown? Are you going to be living near a relative or a family member or a friend? What necessities are important to you? One thing I left out is the airport and that is Charlotte Douglas International Airport. It's located right inside the 485 belt here on the west side uh, of Charlotte. And that airport's going through a $123 million uh, renovation and is only about a year left in it. And that airport's gonna be about twice the size. It is an American Airlines hub as well. So you can get anywhere just about in the world from that airport and it's gonna be beautiful. It's already taking shape, looks great. Uh, so that Charlotte Douglas International Airport. And that's one of the reasons that a lot of people move to Charlotte because of the great economy that the, uh, the city itself offers and jobs. It's the second largest banking city in the United States. It's known for energy, it's known for uh, healthcare. There's a lot of great job growth here and it's just a, gr a great place to live in and around Charlotte. So you got all these different options. So once again, if you got any questions, reach out to us. Uh, you've seen the contact information throughout the video and uh, be sure to check out the channel. We have videos on all of these areas that are more in depth. I just did this video to kind of give you an idea of what it's like to live here and all the different highway uh, structure so that you can you know really see where you are in relation to the city itself so hope this was helpful and once again i'm craig lepage from lepage johnson realty group if you like what you saw please check out some of the other videos and subscribe we'll see you soon thank you